How's it going, guys? Welcome back. So we're talking about five effects for vocals on the X32. And you can translate these effects to other consoles as well. I'm just specifically using the X32. So for number two, we're going to talk about a short plate for vocals. This really helps uh, put the vocal in a space without sounding affected, if that makes sense. If you're in a very dead room, it's hard to turn off all the effects and even make the vocals sit perfectly in a mix. It's still going to sound like it's standing out if your guitars have reverb, if your you know keyboard has a reverb on it, but then the vocal is just dry as a bone. It's really going to stand out. But you don't always want to have a big reverb going, so this one can help be kind of an always-on reverb, if that makes sense. So let's do a quick A-B, and then we'll talk about the settings. Alright, bring in the plate. So you can hear it really makes the vocal kind of just have its own space where it just sounds a little bit more like everything else that's, you know, not so dry, whatever. So it can just help, you know, make it sound a little bit more natural, sit better in a mix. So now let's bring in our reverb from the first video link up here. So we can hear how we're going to stack those reverbs so that they uh, really start adding some dimension to the vocal and really start making it come together and sound big in a mix. So let's uh, bring that one in. Verb one coming in. So to me, adding these two together are better than, you know, just one. They both really complement each other, to me at least. Uh, you know, it's our short verb here sounds like you're in a room. It sounds like we're talking, you know, just across a room to each other. And then the uh, the first verb it sounds bigger and sounds more uh, like an effect, but not, you know, over the top by any means. So th that is really how I like setting those two together, you know, really kind of have them even in the mix. So let's run down the settings real quick on this one. So we're going to have a pre-delay of 32 milliseconds, decay of 1.16 seconds, size 50, damping 7K, diffuse at 30, level at zero, low cut all the way up at 366. You know, that can, you can go higher. That's just where I landed. You can go up to 400. High cut at 4K. Bass multi at 0 0.76. Uh, this one really helps. I, you know, I dialed it back a little bit because it can make the low end develop in a way that I don't feel like is natural. I kind of like leaving that out and making it where you're really focusing more on the higher end of the reverb for this one. And the crossover at 395. Mod depth at, four, uh, oh, at 20. Sorry, I can't read. And mod speed at 30. So again, uh, like I said in the previous video, if you like these reverb settings, hit the link in the description for more and uh, you know get to see some of the tactics of how I use reverb and uh, I think you'll get a lot out of that guide. So in the next video, we're going to talk about chorus on a vocal. As crazy as that may sound, I think it can sound really good when used tastefully. So be on the lookout for that one. It'll be coming out here soon. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.